we're here at an industrial site in New York City where the National Pest Management Association is undertaking some research to take a close look at rodent behavior. Historically, rats have been extremely uh, problematic in society. They also are carriers of parasites and diseases. They're uniquely adapted to be close to humans but remain just out of sight. We partnered up with Fordham University and we're taking a close look at the individual behaviors of rats, how they react to odors in their environment, as well as how they interact with other members of the colony. Right, so we're going over to see the south. So now we're going over to the southern colony. We actually have two colonies over here. During this research project, we're capturing rats. We're gonna use general anesthesia. And here we go. And then injecting them with a microchip, much like you would do for your pet dog or cat. We're then re-releasing these rats into their natural environment and we are able to track their movements and how they interact with different odors and baits. Ten times every second there is reading taken from every antenna so I find out which individual rats have visited each of the treatments and controls. And you compare that information about individual rats with what you're seeing on the video here. Exactly, so each time that rat passes near one of our antennas it actually logs its activity that information goes to the camera through a timestamp, so the cameras actually help us triangulate that data. This groundbreaking research was unique in that it was the first time we've ever been able to study individual rats and overlay that with the colony behaviors that we've seen. Male-only scents cause the rats to investigate but aren't attractive. Mixed scents from both males and females cause the rats to not only be attractive, but to dwell in those areas for more than 80 days. And when faced with female-only scents, the rats find that the most attractive for the longest period of time. During the research project, feral cats invaded our facility. Less than 1% of the time did any one of those cats kill a rat. Additionally, after the cats left, the rats returned and we're looking forward to taking this information and using it to develop new and better ways to control rat populations in the future.